Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to do a little demo and review of the Paracone MD No Makeup Makeup Line. It's the 20th anniversary of the makeup and so Paracone MD sent me the entire line. They have expanded the line for the 20th anniversary, but they haven't reformulated anything. So it's pretty much the same as the last time I reviewed it, which was about four or five years ago when they sent me the line back then. For the 20th anniversary, Paracone MD has expanded expanded the line with two new products and three new shades of the foundation. So there's a new no makeup instant blur primer, there's a new no makeup concealer that comes in three shades, and the no makeup foundation has expanded from two shades to five shades. And then the rest of the line is the same, which is the No Makeup Foundation Serum, the No Makeup Bronzer, the No Makeup Blush, the No Makeup Highlighter, the No Makeup Mascara, and the No Makeup Lipstick. I actually asked my Instagram followers if they wanted to see a review of the whole line or just of the concealer versus another concealer, and overwhelmingly people were like, we want to see the whole line. So I was like, all right, I'll do the review of the whole line. Um, there are two foundations in it, so this did take place over a few days. I'm going to demo the serum for you today and the entire line and then afterwards I'll bring in the footage from the foundation and my other days of wearing it where I did wear tests so I'm not going to put on sunscreen today because it does contain the all mineral SPF 30 I've already washed my face and prepped with my normal skincare and so I am ready to go so let's get started all right here is what the primer looks like it's in a compact so it has a little puffer to apply it with and it's like a solid silicone based primer. I actually really like this when I used it the other day. I felt that it did uh, smooth and soften the look of my pores and mattify the makeup down a little bit because this is a very, very luminous makeup. This has kind of an industrial smell to it though. <laughs> I know Dr. Paracone's products are not really known for their great smell. Some of them smell fairly awful, but they also don't use fragrances to mask anything. So there's the primer. I feel like the primer definitely looks nice and smoothing on my normally enlarged pores. The foundations often will separate, so they definitely need to be shaken up before you use it. So this one comes with a dropper. So I just apply this like a skin cream or a sunscreen. And since I am using it as my sunscreen today, I am gonna apply kind of a lot of it because you guys know you need a quarter of a teaspoon to get the SPF on the label. So I'm gonna apply this fairly liberally, but you know, you can because it's so very sheer. The concealer comes in three shades. They are fair, light, and medium. So I'm going to use light. Probably using more than they recommend. They recommend like two dots for each eye for your no makeup makeup look. I think it's a nice looking concealer. Then I'm just going to dot it around where I might want a little more coverage. Any broken capillaries or redness around the nose you can use the concealer on. I'm just going to use it to even out my skin tone a little bit more. Give me a little brow highlight. Doing a little nose highlighting. The under eye concealer actually goes on really smoothly, but it is a really sheer concealer, so if you have any darkness, you're gonna need to add a little more to get some coverage. But it is a little bit more luminous than I would like, so I think I, I'm definitely gonna powder it over. But it's not creasing or settling, and it definitely brightened up my under eye area. I use the IT Cosmetics Eye by Pores HD powder. Okay, let me grab the bronzer and the blush. So can you see that they've separated a bit? You just shake them back up. Today, I'm just going to use one drop of this. When I put this on the other day, I used way too much. And I'm just gonna spread it on my fingertips and then just add a little tiny bit to like around my hairline to give me kind of a sun-kissed glow and a little bit on my cheeks define the cheekbones. That looks really nice. And the same thing with the blush. Now let's see, what does the blush have in it? I don't think it has a dropper. The blush just has like, oh, it's got a doe foot. And again, I felt like this went on a little heavy, so I'm just, because I dotted it on, so I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to doe foot it onto the tips of my fingers and split that between both cheeks. And I'm just going to pat that on. You know, if you don't have tools or anything and you just go for a really natural look and you want to be out the door in five minutes, this is super easy makeup, easy to apply, 
and looks very, very natural. I think it looks really pretty. It looks really glowy and nice. And then we have the highlighter. This one has a doe foot as well. I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to tap that at the tops of my cheekbones. So make a little C up and around. All right, last couple of steps will be the mascara and the lipstick. It's a nice looking mascara. And what do I do with the lipstick? Oh yeah, and here's the lipstick. And it has a really nice, like vanilla-y kind of baking scent to it. And it's a very natural color. All right, so here's my Paracona MD No Makeup Makeup look. Let's look at it up close and personal. What I'm really liking about this right now is that it feels really moisturizing. It's the dead of winter here. The air is so dry and this is not making my face or my skin look dry at all. It's a very natural look. It doesn't look like makeup sitting on the surface of the skin, but yet it's evened out my skin tone. The concealer is working really nicely. It's not settling into any pores. It's not settling into any wrinkles and it's not making it like super 100% perfected. If that's what you're looking for, then this isn't for you. But if you just want, you know, something that you can't, it doesn't look like makeup on your skin, you're not gonna look like you're wearing full face of makeup, but you wanna look better than you, I think it's really nice. It is spendy, but maybe you can afford it. I don't know what you can afford. Uh, so um, let's see how it wears throughout the day. I'll be back in a few hours to check on it. All right, I'm back for a little check-in on the Paracone makeup. It's about 4.30 now, so I think I've had this on for about five hours, maybe five and a half hours, and um, it's not looking too, too bad as I expected. It's starting to wear off a little bit, like on my nose and on my chin and stuff, and look a little thin. Um, but overall, the foundation, I think, is wearing, you know, fairly well, like you would expect something so very sheer to. But it really hasn't gotten very shiny, you know, it's not sliding around, it didn't settle in wrinkles or pores. So those are all good things for people who like a very, very sheer, very no makeup look. At about the second or third hour, I passed myself in the bathroom, you know, in the bathroom mirror, and I was like, oh wow, that looks really nice. Like, I just remember before that it was so shiny, but I think this this mattifying primer underneath really helps to bring down the shine. So the bronzer looks nice. I think the blush looks nice. I think the highlighter looks nice. Um, the lipstick did not last through a single meal. It was nice while it was on there, but it did feel a bit drying, I gotta say, and so I haven't reapplied the lipstick. Um, and the mascara, now I remember why I didn't like it last time, it's flaking already. And what else? Oh, the under eye concealer. It's looking a little scaly. I actually had really high hopes for this under eye concealer because I feel like that's a place that people normally don't put um, sunscreen and it's really a place that you need to wear sunscreen but it can you know chemical sunscreens can irritate your delicate eye skin and so it's great that it's all mineral so it won't be irritating and it will protect that skin so I was hoping it was going to be a fantastic concealer that would last all day you know it looks fine from a distance but up close you'll see it's a little it's a little scaly looking it's a little wearing off and patchy and stuff so mm, not going to be the most fantastic one and are we doing another check-in or is that it for today um, I think that's probably it for today. I don't think, you know, it's certainly not going to get any better. It'll probably be worn off in another five hours. So let me bring in some of the footage of the day that I use the No Makeup Makeup Foundation so you can take a look and see what that looks like. I'm going to do one side with the primer and one side without. Definitely it's mattified that side, I can see already. And yeah, definitely blurred the pores as well. Good. All right, I could see wearing that on its own just if you had, you know, shininess and enlarged pores. Next step will be, of course, the No Makeup Makeup Foundation. Today I'm going to use uh, the light shade. And this contains 12.8% uh, zinc oxide and 3.37% titanium dioxide. So it's got a pretty hefty dose of mineral sunscreen in here, which is awesome. Should we do just one more pump to see if we can get a little more coverage? Like I feel like this red spot and this age spot is still showing through and the redness on my cheeks and stuff. So I'm going to give it one more pump. I mean, this is supposed to be very natural looking makeup, so it's not going to ever give full, full coverage. 
you know, if you love a full coverage makeup look and you don't want to see anything on your skin, then this is not going to be for you. There's the finished Paracone MD No Makeup Makeup Look. I definitely prefer the powdered and primered side over the total luminous side, but if you like a luminous look, then you could like it just as it is. It's a little too much for me, but I gotta say, it's a nice soft luminosity. It's not really making my pores look enormous or making my wrinkles look too big or anything. It's a very skin-like look. It looks very natural. It's not settling into wrinkles. It's not settling into pores, and you know, those are two of the big deal breakers. All right, I'm back for the four to five hour check-in on the Paracone MD Makeup. From a distance, it looks fine. Foundation looks better than my face would without foundation, but it is wearing off in a very patchy way. The primer side is slightly smoother. The under eye concealer is a disaster on both sides, much worse on the non-set side and looking really gross and awful. Time for the 10 hour check-in. Let's start with the foundation. It does stay a little bit tacky for a long time. It's under your fingers all day, it moves around, and so it wears off. So it comes off on things, comes off on your glasses, comes just you know, disappears during the course of the day, but it doesn't do anything really awful. The thing that really is looking awful is the under eye concealer. It's worn off in the inner corners and it's so dry and cakey and settled and cracked. I actually kind of like the mascara, but it is a little bit flaky. So I feel pretty much the same about it this time as I did last time. I still don't love the No Foundation Foundation, but I still like the serum and think that it is a really much nicer looking makeup than the No Foundation Foundation. I do like it for a really super no makeup day and I think the serum definitely looks better and wears better than the No Foundation Foundation. Um, I do like the new primer though, the Makeup Instant Blur. I think it does definitely blur um, in large pores and wrinkles and it does help to mattify the serum so that it makes it more wearable for me. So I really like that product. I didn't really feel like it helped to make the makeup wear longer. You still really only get about four or five hours out of each of these makeups. The brand new concealer that I had such high hopes for, I was sadly very disappointed in. I really didn't like the mascara last time. It, that formula hasn't changed, so I still don't like it. And the lipstick, I find drying. I think it's pretty when you first apply it, but it doesn't last very long. The bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter are all very pretty. I enjoy wearing them quite a lot and I really like how they look. So that's my full review on the Paracone MD 20th Anniversary Makeup Expanded line. I hope you found the review helpful and informative. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And so as always, I thank you for your time and really appreciate your watching. So I'll see you in the next video. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.